So many different people are finding many different ways to cope during lockdown. One of them is exercising, which I tried but failed. Another one is jogging and cycling, which is also good, so good on you if you're doing that. And unfortunately, people are deciding as well that doing donuts in their local Tesco car park is also a good way on getting through lockdown as well. But personally, I have found this is quite cool on getting through lockdown. This is the Titan Editor Key. I did a tutorial on how to install this on uh, the Titan 1 and Titan Simulator. So if you want to check out that video, click the eye in the corner and it'll lead you to the video. But today, I'm going to be showing you on how to network Avalice consoles together. As well well, to the people who have uh, kind of joined the channel recently, I just want to let you know we have changed our logo after six years. Uh, a lot of people have asked what the previous video was. Basically, yeah, we have changed our logo, and that was the new logo reveal. New logo, click the eye in the corner as well to check out that video. So on the right of me, I've got my quartz, and behind me, I have got my Titan 1. They are both running version 13, and you've got to make sure as well that both consoles or softwares or whatever are the same software version, uh, because otherwise it won't work. Networking as well with Titan is really easy and I'm about to show you now. Uh, the Quartz is going to be the main console in this scenario and the Titan one is going to be the second console or backup or whatever you're using it for. Let's jump over to the laptop. So here we are on the laptop running Titan 1 on version 13 and just a quick reminder the Quartz will be acting as the main console in the scenario. So what we will be doing is connecting to the Quartz via the Titan 1 software that I've got on my laptop. So what we need to do first is click disk, next, soft key B which is Titan Net Sessions and then you've got four tabs that open up. Sessions view, backup, multi-user, or backup and multi-user. So what we will do for now is click sessions view. And as you can see, the Titan one has already found the Quartz. So as you can see, the Quartz uh, IP address, the master IP address is here, and the software version, and also here is my laptop's information, you know, the IP address and everything like that, and the software version as well. So what we need to do to connect to the Quartz is click the Quartz, or whatever console you're using, click connect and then you've got three options that pop up connect as backup connect as multi-user or connect as backup and multi-user so what does this all mean backup is basically well let's say the main console breaks and just randomly stops working you can take over the show uh, with the titan one without changing any um, changing any uh, cables about uh, so let's say the console, the main console screws up and just stops working. We can take off the whole show and the whole rig via the second console. And multi-user is more of a collaboration thing. So let's say you're on a show and you've got more than one lighting operator. It can control the rig with more, with more than uh, one console and more than one lighting operator. So what we will do uh, for now is click connect as backup. And the uh, the Titan one is currently retrieving all the data and information from the Quartz. As you can see, it sorted itself out now. Obviously, what we need to do before connecting or taking over is sync the console uh, to each other. Just so, you know, if you've got any other information that you've made on the main console, like let's say you've made a new queue or something, you can sync it so it'll update on the, uh, on the second console. And let's say, you know, oh dear, you know, the, the Quartz has randomly stopped working and um, now it's frozen and we can't control the show. What we can do is click take over and the Titan one will instantly take over the show on the, uh, from the main console. So as you can see, the, the main show file has already shown up. You've got the cues down here and once the visualizer starts working, uh, you know, we've got cues already programmed which are from the main console. It is a bit laggy due to the screen recording, but I'm sure you know what I mean. But as you can see, it's already retrieved absolutely everything from instantly clicking take over and you've just saved the whole show. And what the main console will do now is show up with a little tab on a uh, in the top corner saying the console is now in safe mode which means the DMX output is now disabled. So here we are on the fresh new show file and now I'm going to be showing you on networking but with the multi-user feature. So what we need to do is click disk, select next or previous till you find Titan net sessions which will be in soft key B. And then you've got the same uh, uh, soft keys open again, sessions view, backup, multi-user. Uh, you can select multi-user or backup from here but what, uh, when you click session view, uh, sessions view, uh, this basically shows you on what consoles are on the same network. If we click the quartz again, 
click connect and then this time select connect as multi-user the titan one is now retrieving all the show file information from the quartz so as you can see now it is loaded the show file and if we fire a queue a random queue so let's say this red queue i created on the quartz what this will do is also fire the same queue but on the quartz so the difference between backup and multi-user is that backup is only an individual console so all consoles will be connected but you can only control the rig with one console which means if one console shuts down or stops working then you can use the backup console and uh, the backup console will automatically take over the show file and the rig uh, automatically but with multi-user again it's more of a collaboration type thing uh, which allows you to control the rig but with multiple consoles running at once if you know what i mean so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe we're almost at 2000 and if we can get to 2000 very soon that would be amazing uh, so i hope you enjoyed and uh, i will see you in the next video